so we are like two weeks into quarantine, I guess now. So there's a shelter in place advisory in all of the Bay Area. So we're staying inside. It's like the second week here. And I figured I'd give you like a, a bit of a how I'm doing things and, and day in the life type video. So yeah, trying to stay busy. We're all actually staying super busy while we're here. Um, luckily there's a lot to do. I've got a bunch of work with Waltz as I'm sure you've seen from videos and stuff lately. And I'm um, gonna take you along, kind of try to narrate as much as possible what's going on. There's also dogs, lots of dogs here. So usually my days start downstairs. We'll caffeinate, do the usual thing. I'm extra tired today. I think it's been harder and harder every day to like dive into work, but uh, then I'll jump upstairs and I'll dive into tasks. So right now it's like nine o'clock. I'll usually start off by scheduling Instagram posts for Waltz and for my personal Instagram. I, I d try to do while I've been on quarantine, like two a day for each page, which is tough for me because I don't make that much content, but luckily Waltz, everybody out there who's been like skating Waltz boards and like showing off all they're doing on their on their Waltz stuff, you all make it really easy to, to post stuff on Waltz twice a day. So so I'll jump on that. I'll go out and try to get a little bit of a skate in, just like a warm up, stretch out skate, and then we'll shower and actually start the day. But it's already nine o'clock. I'm already kind of behind on my usual routine, but oh, this is life. What am I doing? I haven't worked in like two weeks. Cool thing about being here and something I'm super grateful for is that the Potts family and Lauren's family that is uh, they let me stay here and they have this incredible property this insane spot in the back that I can skate on during the day so I can't do a whole lot because we have so much to do but I just need to stretch my legs and just get loosened up before I do anything else today something quick you know Uh, too much, too much face. Okay, so so now that now that I've skated, I've gotten that out of my system. Got a little warm up going. I feel clean again. Although there is this whole quarantine happening, although Northern California is on a on a shelter in place uh, notice, and although there is like quarantine and self quarantine happening in Southern California, we are still trying to operate as best we can. Big reason for that, I mean, besides obviously Walt's wanting to still operate and make money to pay our bills, is that we want to make sure that people out there have access to gear because we're stuck inside. And when I was, you know, in high school and I was stuck inside, I wanted a skateboard. I wanted to go into my, you know, my mom's basement or, you know, set up a carpet board and make it work. And we think we can still do that. We think we can still serve people and do this the right way. So we're still doing it. I have to get some new skid plates ordered. I have to check in with our wood shop to see if they're open again yet. Cause basically our wood shop shut down. A lot of boring stuff, but this is where I just basically bear down, knock this stuff out. And hopefully when I'm done with that, I can go down and hang out with the dogs and show you more of what we do here. Cause yeah, it's really fun. 
besides all of the, you know, isolation and loneliness and anxiety. How are you doing? Haha. <laughs> Sick. Da -na -na -na. That's the Zelda sound. Da -na -na -na. That's all they give us. I'm gonna need more. Um, I don't, I don't have these things. Like this is really new to me. So, um, so this is expensive, and we bought this so we can we can print labels and ship skateboards. This is a big step for me. I feel like this is like buying like your first couch for your apartment. This is a moment for me. Let's figure out how it works. Uh, uh, foolproof. There we go. Now it's official. Back to work. Three hours later. Oh my god. Emails sent. Skid plates sourced? Maybe? I don't know. Blog post about us reopening? Done. Most important part. I gotta figure out how to use this thing, which means I have to go out into the garage, which is where I'm gonna use it. Oh, and I have to build completes. I gotta build so many completes. That's gonna be the main focus. A lot happening. All right, so people, let's talk. What does it take to make Waltz run when I'm working remote and when I'm in quarantine? We've got this table, which is gonna be where I basically set up all my boards. Uh, this is like our workstation. Let's let's just get some, some BTS going. Spin this around. But we've got the standard stuff. We've got no skids with a nice N on them. Whole big stack of no skids. Tail skids, some packaged, some not. Those are wheels. Fun fact, wheels always come in black bags. Razor blades, because I go through hella razor blades, putting boards together. Skid plate hardware, hardware. More boards on the bottom. We have boxes of boards. Back there, there's more boxes of boards. Garbage box. And my absolute pride and joy, my stack of boxes, an enormous pile of boxes. Now that my, my email day and my um, other half of my day is done, all of like the really boring stuff is done. I get to sit down and build a bunch of boards. I wanna make sure completes are back in stock on the site. So I'm running completes, when I'm putting together completes, I'll go through and I'll, I'll press bearings into wheels all at the same time. I'll put trucks together all at the same time and then I'll put all the decks together at the same time. So it's like, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna start with skid plates though. And uh, we'll see you on the other side with hopefully a stack of boards much taller than that stack right there. Let's do it. All right, so I made a good dent in this. We've got decks gripped and skidded, or with holes in them for skids. We still have to do bushings, still have to mount the trucks, still have to mount the skid plates. So we do have a lot to do, but it's 5.45-ish. I gotta go back to the house. I gotta turn all the site on. I need to put all the, the web store stuff back in order so I can have that ready for everybody. All these boards that I'm making right now, they're gonna be up there. So you can, you can pick one up and I'll have it sent out. I don't know, maybe they're already gone. I have no idea when this is gonna go up. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life right now. Yeah. This is the this is the day in the life between 8 a.m. till what is this six six o'clock, just gunning, trying to return emails and get customer service done in between all of the all of the nonsense, all the craziness, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Here's some skating. You know, like we that was a lot of crazy. Uh, we're gonna end today like that. Now that you saw a little bit of the uh, the play by play, I'll probably do tomorrow uh, when I uh, I have a bit longer session because I have less to do. <sighs> Love it.
Casper sucked. So a couple of confessions. Uh, I was starting to feel real, real lame. In all reality, like the, the stuff I do, maybe you think it's it's interesting, but like the everyday stuff for Waltz is not fun. Just like anything, like any business, the majority of the everyday tasks are not skateboarding. They're making sure that you can make skateboards for everyone else. The important thing for me lately, something that I've been allowing myself to do more is skate and get back here and sweat. People like Nick Ballou and, and Bryce No and Toshiaki Fuji and, and Yuta and Sean Burke, all these people who I super admire in the, the freestyle community have been skating so much more and it makes me so happy. So being able to like sponge off of them and get ideas has led to a lot of really good sessions. And I don't know if it was fueled more by them this last session as it was fueled by me feeling like I had a really boring video on my hands that I needed to spice up. But yeah, I kicked my own ass on this one. I need a break. Time for, time for a nice eight to 12 hour nap followed by more skateboarding and uh, skateboarding business running. I think everybody's kind of dealing with this whole thing differently, uh, whether you are stuck at home and uh, in quarantine or maybe furloughed from your job or you're taking classes at home or whatever. Everybody's got a different situation in the midst of all this uh, COVID-19 insanity. So I hope you're doing okay. Just remember that everybody's dealing with this differently and uh, whether you're having a great time or you're having a horrible time, know that there are other people out there going through the same thing and I uh, hope you can find some form of community, hopefully online, because we have so many opportunities now to all keep in touch with each other. And you can uh, get through this. We're all gonna get through this. Stay inside, be safe, take care of yourself and each other, and we'll see you soon. And keep dancing too.